Okay, so we have this Chebyshev problem. You have been given some data. You already have found, looks like correctly, the mean and standard deviation. Use Chebyshev's theorem to find an interval centered around about the mean times of rugby plays in which you would expect at least 75% of the data to fall. Round final answers to two decimal places. So it may be that you have more accuracy in your calculator than just, for example, the 0.19 or the 0.57, and you would want to use it. Uh, but the question in general was the negative 8.89. Uh, how did we uh, end up with that? So Chebyshev's theorem, we can treat it like, kind of like the empirical rule and talk about the portion of data which are within, say, k standard deviations of the mean for any distribution, at least that portion of the data. So, <clears throat> um, for any distribution, at least 75% of the data are within two standard deviations of the mean. Two standard devia deviations of the mean. And of course, for part C, it's going to be, we're going to use the, the rule that for any distribution, at least 88.9% of the data are within three standard deviations of the mean. So the picture that we drew in class looked something like this. We just have some distribution. Shape doesn't matter, doesn't have to be normal, doesn't have to be special. Well, the mean is 20.19. Standard deviation is 14.57. And you, it looks like you correctly found the 49.33. You add 14.57 to that, and you have 35.47. Um, yeah, and then if you add another 14.57, you would have a 39 and change, or 49 and change. And of course, we, we would subtract to go down. So right here, it's going to be the 20.19 minus 14.57. <clears throat> Twenty point one nine minus fourteen point five seven, uh, which is going to be five point um, six two. <clears throat> And 
And then uh, down here, one more standard deviation to the left of the mean. So now we're two standard deviations below. And of course, that's the important number of standard deviations because Chebyshev, in giving the In giving the 75%, Chebyshev was really giving us the two standard deviations. So that's why we went one, we're going one, two to the left. So this number then is going to be the answer. That's going to be that negative 8.89. And so one way to compute it would be to subtract the 14.57 from 5.62. Or we could just treat this problem uh, as an individual problem take the 20.19 and subtract two of those two of those 14.57s. Which is 20 point 20.19 minus, let's see, 2 times 14.57, that's 29.14. And so what I'm getting here is negative 8.95. And so this shows what we were saying in class today, negative 8.95. you need more accuracy than what we have. So you do not round uh, the way we just did. You will use the accuracy that you have in your calculator because that mean is not exactly 20.19. There are more decimal places. That standard deviation is 14.57 rounded but it really has more decimal places, more accuracy. So when you do these calculations, you will have to either store those numbers in your calculator, you know, with really, you might want to use all of the decimal places, maybe eight decimal places or more, um, or just write down all the decimal places before you go to the calculator to do the arithmetic.